Finding the best monitor for creative tasks such as photo editing or video editing. Guys, awesome for tuning in. Today I'm going to look at the ASUS ProArt 278. Very nice monitor for creative people that has even IPS panel. And what other things that can you can consider when picking a monitor? Guys, here in the side cut, you see the first thing you can consider, that's the different sizes. Uh, you should pick an appropriate size and 24 inch i left out a little bit because that is a little bit small uh, by today's standard but 27 inch is a very popular format and you always find that in a wqhd or the 4k resolution also a very second consideration is the inputs that the monitor has this asos pro art monitor has in total four inputs as you can see here you have a DVI input, you have a HDMI input, you have a DisplayPort input, and for Mac users, very interesting, the mini DisplayPort as well. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today, I'm gonna take this out of the box, put it together, show you the assembly, and then we're gonna test this display. And quickly unboxing and assembling the unit, as you can see here, this Pro Art display from our Asus is specifically marketed for creative people, and I'm zooming in for you here a little bit. Uh, that you can see the specs on here and it's marketed as specifically color accurate calibration straight from the factory with a uh, rec 709 srgb color space and an ips panel which i am a big fan of these ips panels and guys let's quickly take this out of the box show you the parts and uh, assemble the stand uh, connectivity wise i'm going to test this with the apple m1 uh, here with the hdmi then what is also included is the display port to mini display port. A little bit uh, unusual, probably good for older Mac users and then power cord and for the USB hub. And let's quickly assemble the display, take all the parts from the desk and take maybe a soft towel, uh, place it carefully on there, then take out the display itself and uh, gently rest it on the towel. Then I'm gonna rotate the panel for you guys and we remove some of the packaging because now, as you can see here, we're gonna attach that base plate. You just insert it here very carefully. And once that's done, fixate it by hand. And the second step is take a screwdriver, make sure it's really snug fit so <laughs> that your display can be positioned very safely. Turn it back around and then you can up, position the display upright on your desk remove some of more of the packaging material this is re really careful packaged remove this foil and you're ready to use the monitor terrific now let's have a closer look at the asos pro art pa278 monitor and as you can see this display has the size the one consideration first consideration obviously is the display size i'm going to show this to you down here in the side card you're seeing a 27 inch display in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 16 by 9 aspect ratio and 16 by 9 aspect ratio is the standard aspect ratio. And I think 27 inch, in my opinion, is one of the best selling monitor sizes. Of course, you can also have 32 inch, which will give you even more space. But consider that uh, 32 inch is already quite big. So make sure you really need that extra space. And then there are also, which brings us to the second consideration, these other sizes like the ultra wide or the super wide. And I did review a LG ultra wide display, as you can see here, which basically extends the aspect ratio from 16 by nine to a 21 by nine monitor, and thereby gives you extra space at both at the sides and extends your workspace. However, if you're picking these other sizes like ultra wide or super wide, you're deviating from the standard 16 by nine aspect ratios. So that's also an important consideration. Then next up also the panel types. This ASUS Pro Art I really like because it has an IPS panel. And as you can see here, there are different panel types. And normally the IPS panels here at the bottom those are panels that are found in, for the, for the majority, in my opinion, non-gaming monitors. Because the IPS panels have a little bit of a trade-off, they don't tend to be as fast as, let's say, the twisted pneumatic or the variable alignment. Those are more, in my opinion, for gaming or when a faster response time is required. However, these other two panel types 
they don't, in my opinion, give the same richness and color, or at least you don't have the same viewing angle, which where I think colors and viewing angle, in my opinion, the IPS panels are superior. Color spaces. If you are really into doing color accurate work, then also please consider the color spaces. The ASOS Pro Art has the Rec. 709 sRGB, but some people, they might need more advanced monitors, like with these true black panels and to the extended color spaces, like I'm showing you here, the BT2020 or the Adobe RGB. So please, when doing monitor shopping, uh, you should know which color spaces are relevant for you. But this monitor, just from having used it, I mean, as you can see here, the colors really pop and uh, the resolution, although it's the WQHD, which obviously you can also get 27 inch displays in a higher resolution. They're always available in both. The 27 inch is always this transitional size, while you have the 24 inch displays that only have the full HD resolution. You step it up to 27 inch, you have normally WQHD or 4K. And then when you get one step higher to 32 inch, you only have the 4K. Uh, I really like that this ASUS display has like these direct buttons. Not every monitor has that. That's very convenient to change settings. And as you can see here, uh, the brightness levels on this ASUS are really excellent. I'm at 30% brightness and this is totally sufficient for the lighting situation in my room. Wonderful. And we have looked at the ASUS Pro Art monitor, a very nice display with uh, good color accuracy and an IPS panel. And as you have seen, the monitor has a nice stand, flexible stand. You can do some height adjustments, which is very nice. Uh, not every monitor has that. Some, sometimes their monitors, they don't have the height adjustment. Then we also looked at the testing it with the Mac Mini, with the new Mac Mini. Viewers sometimes uh, recently have asked a little bit more about the Mac Mini, which monitor used for a Mac Mini. And for an example, I have picked this ASUS ProArt, which worked perfectly fine. We have also learned the most important things that you can consider when purchasing a monitor in general. As you can see here in the side card, I walked you through the different sizes, the aspect ratios, the resolutions, the panel types as well as the various other small things that you can consider like the inputs and also this navigation at the front where you have uh, with this particular ASUS monitor these very nice touch buttons at the front where you can quickly navigate in the menu and change the settings such as the brightness and I also talked a little bit about the various inputs. The Mac Mini I connected via HDMI but obviously the ASUS Pro Art has all the standard inputs such as the DVI the HDMI, the display port, and in addition here, a little bit special, the mini display port, where I also explained to you that sometimes Mac users who may still have a little bit older Mac hardware, uh, like for example here, this graphics card from my old Mac Pro, you see that has a mini display port. So this uh, should be in theory, in my opinion, a good display for Mac users that want to do some color accurate work. Although I have to say there are displays that are definitely better but they are in a totally different price range so if you have like expanded color spaces like this bt2020 or i think the adobe srgb so if you want a specific color space you're probably already very knowledgeable 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 about it and paying attention to it anyway but i wanted to speak a little bit in general and give newcomers to the market a good information Awesome guys for tuning in. Let me know what other content you want to see and I see you in the next video. And as a subscriber, take care. And because you just watched my monitor review, you might also be interested in comparing the uh, monitor that I've just shown you against some other ones. For example, these Azo Flex Scan line. Those are very nice monitors that are popular for office or maybe even graphics use. And uh, a lot of people have already subscribed because of the content that I provide for you guys here. You can subscribe right now as well if you want. And I see you in the next video and maybe even uh, as a subscriber. Take care.